Hey, what's up, good folks of YouTube? This is Keith, and you're watching Barber's Auto Help. So not too long ago, I did a video on what a bad strut mount sounds like, or I should say, what a bad bearing sounds like inside of a strut mount. Now, these strut mounts here came off a vehicle that had a similar noise to the one that you heard in the other video that I have linked in the description down there. This one in particular was the one that was making that doinging noise. Now, I wanted to show you these strut mounts off of the vehicle and off of the strut assembly so that you can see what's going on inside there and maybe get a better understanding of what's going on and what causes this and so that you can understand what's going on on your vehicle a little bit better. Now this here is an intact strut mount and when you buy this type of strut mount right here uh, it comes with an integrated bearing so the bearing is built in to the strut mount assembly now not every strut mount that you get will have the bearing in it you may have to get them separately but this is how it works this part right here that has the four studs mounts up to your strut tower if you have a unibody vehicle and then down here this is where the spring mounts up to so this will be the top end of the spring and inside there will be your strut cartridge so when you're turning your wheel back and forth where this part of the strut mount mounts to the strut tower, it will be stationary, it won't rotate. But the bottom side that's attached to the steering knuckle will rotate as you steer the vehicle. So this allows that strut to move in this manner here without binding. And for grins and giggles, here's an example of a strut assembly or a ready strut. And it has a strut mount on it. You have your coil spring and then you have your strut cartridge inside. Strut mount mounts to the strut tower and the bottom part of the strut cartridge mounts to your steering knuckle. Now this is the strut mount that I have here that's not intact, it's disassembled. And you can see here you have a bearing race with some ball bearings inside of it. And then you got the other side of the bearing race right there. And this part of the strut mount actually fits right inside there just like that. Now, I'm missing some balls. There's supposed to be a lot more balls than this. When I took it apart, some fell out and I couldn't find them all. I do apologize. But what happens is, weather, dirt, debris, whatever gets inside there, or just wear and tear starts to happen and these balls get degraded and it starts to not allow that strut to rotate as freely as it did before and it can start to bind up. And when that binding starts to happen, it creates a little bit of a bonging type noise or a thumping type, type noise. And when that noise happens, it translates down into the coil spring, which gives it the more doingy kind of a sound. So that's what's going on, and that's what causes this particular noise right there. Now, if you haven't seen my other video on what a bad strut mount sounds like, Take a look down in the description down there. I'll have a link to it. Please watch that. And that'll give you a good idea of what it sounds like. Some pretty good audio there. Well, folks, as always, I certainly do appreciate you guys watching. I do hope that this video was helpful. If you have any questions, comment down below. I'll be happy to get to you as soon as I can. Also, please read the entire description below this video before you apply any of this knowledge. I may need to clarify some things or add more information down there and that's where you can find that also I'll have a disclaimer at the very end please read that too thanks again for watching